what's up how you doing today we're going to be making one of my favorite fall recipes which is turkey chili in one of my last videos where i did a fall grocery haul got a comment from emily walker asking if i could share my turkey chili recipe i'm happy to do it for you right here i do turkey chili as opposed to normal like ground beef just because i tend to cook with turkey rather than ground beef just to try to limit my red meat consumption it's a little bit healthier, a little bit leaner, but honestly, I think it tastes really good, regardless of if you use turkey or ground beef. All right, so without further ado, let's get into the recipe. All right, so first thing I do is cut up a little bit of an onion. Fun fact about me, I'm really bad about measuring stuff, especially in something like chili, so I'm not gonna really give exact measurements here, but you can kind of see what I what I'm working with here. And then two cloves of garlic. They were also kind of beefy cloves, but I like garlic, so that worked out. Drop a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Again, no measurements, but just like, you know, a drizzle, however much you're comfortable with. And dropped in that onion and garlic. And you wanna stir that around. You don't want that to get stuck to the bottom or anything. Next, I cut up a bell pepper. This was actually my first time adding a bell pepper to my chili, but I had them and I wasn't sure what I was gonna use them for. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna add it to the chili, cause why not? It's chili, you can add whatever you want in there. Then here's the ground turkey. This is um, 1.2 pounds of ground turkey. That is a measurement I can give you because it was on the box. Add in the bell pepper and the ground turkey, of course, and just stir it up until the ground turkey is no longer pink and it's starting to get a little bit brown. And this is on about medium heat. Then I dumped out the grease, put it back on. Once I've dumped out the grease, add salt and pepper. Then garlic salt, because I love garlic salt. A little bit of uh, garlic powder. You can also add onion powder if you want, but I don't have any. And then of course, the important ingredient of chili powder. I add a lot of this stuff. I'm a big fan of chili powder. I add probably more than most people do, but I think it's delicious. Again, no measurements. I just sort of dump it how I want to. Then I'm using beef broth. Again, no measurement, but you can add about a cup or just however soupy you want your chili and some diced tomatoes. The kind I used here are the fire roasted ones. Give it a little extra flavor. And then some tomato sauce, just kind of a smaller little can of it. Mix it all around. It's getting real chili-y, real soupy. Um, added more chili powder because like I said, can't get enough of that stuff. Love it. Put it down to a lower heat just to let it simmer. Put the lid on top. Leave it there for about yeah, 20, 30 minutes, however long you feel. It doesn't really make a ton of a difference. You just want the flavors to sort of combine, get together, get to know each other. While I do that, I'm chopping up this green onion to top it and make it all cute and pretty. All right, I let mine sit for about 20 minutes. I'm just gonna stir it up again and then it's done. Adding some shredded cheese on top because delicious. And then those green onions. You can also add sour cream if you want. I choose not to for literally just calorie sake. Another sort of fat you can add if you want to be a little bit healthier, you don't want to do sour cream, is avocado. I actually got an avocado for this purpose, but it just didn't get ripe fast enough for my timeline and I didn't want to wait. Just adding some chips. These are tortilla strips from, I got them at Aldi actually, and they're delicious. Look at that beauty. It's a nice turkey chili bowl. And that's it, that is my turkey chili recipe. Probably gonna be making some more fall food recipe videos as we go through fall. I have a couple more ideas for videos, so hopefully those will be coming out pretty soon. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you have anything that you want me to make, if you wanna see, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you've made it this far in the video, let me know what your favorite fall food is. All right guys, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to me. I put out new videos every single week. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.